Maker Campers, are you ready for a more challenging project? Well, today we're kicking off a special two-part pachinko machine build. A pachinko machine is kind of like a pinball machine, but it hangs straight up and down. So you can kind of think of it as mechanical art. You can stick with a classic pachinko playing field or design something totally unique. Think about the types of obstacles you'll have. Spinners, pockets. Early pachinko machines were 100% mechanical, but lately the pachinko designers have been adding lots of cool electronics and color video screens. You can make your pachinko machine nice and basic or enhance it with lights and sounds and program it all with an Arduino, which is actually what we're gonna do in part two. Are you ready to get started? Let's get making. Lightly sand the entire surface of your playing board. We're doing 15 and a half by 21. First, we'll mark the center. It's a little off-center because the playing field is actually off-center itself. So the design that we paint is gonna be off-center as well. We decided to do a kind of shooting ray design, reminiscent of some vintage pachinko machines. First, we're gonna make our winning pockets. Start by marking two inches in from each side of your tongue depressor. Use your craft knife and a metal straight edge to make your cuts. With the middle part of your tongue depressor, mark down an inch and a quarter. From your inch and a quarter mark, measure up 5 eighths of an inch on either side. Then draw a diagonal line to the center point. Again, use your craft knife to score. Next, glue the two pieces together. You want your pocket to be about two inches wide at the top. Glue your little house-shaped piece of wood upside down to the front of your pocket. Next, put some hot glue down the bottom of your pocket and then place your little wooden ramp right on top of it, sloping downward towards the back of the pocket. Make three more. Now we're gonna make our ball spinners. Lightly sand your craft wood. Use some hot glue and attach your 3 quarters inch aluminum spacer. Measure out from the center of your aluminum spacer to the edge of the craft wood. Ours are about a quarter of an inch. You can use wood glue for this part or a hot glue gun works too. Make three more. Right, now we're gonna make our ball launcher. Cut a 3 16th dowel about a half an inch long. Sand the ends. Next, you're gonna glue your two tongue depressors together, but off-center them just a hair. This will make your launcher a little bit stronger. Put some hot glue on the end and attach your dowel. This is essentially a trigger pin. This little pin will reach through the hole, hit the ball, and launch it through the pachinko board. Cut a piece of transfer paper the size of your template. Drill your center hole right where we marked earlier, poke a hole in your template, and line it up with the center hole. Now we're gonna mark the drill holes which is all of the green circles on the template. Use the 1 8 inch bit for the spinners and the half inch bit for the ball returns. Sand your drilled holes. Now we're gonna protect our playing board with some polyurethane. Make sure you erase all your pencil marks before you cover it. Next, we're gonna drill our trigger hole for our ball shooter. Measure 5 8 up and 1 8 inch from the bottom. Use the half inch bit to drill your hole. First, 
we're gonna glue down our wood trim to the top of the playboard. Add a little scrap of wood to the bottom. It probably shouldn't be any taller than one inch. You're gonna use the outer embroidery hoop for your outer hoop on your playing field. First, glue down one end to your little wood scrap down at the bottom where your ramp will be. Then circle the hoop around, touching all three sides, and then mark the right side where the hoop fully touches the trim. This is where you're gonna cut. Take one end of your inner embroidery hoop and line it up with the glued down right side of your outer embroidery hoop. We want this inner hoop to loop around and line up with the edge of the graphic. And when we find our spot, we'll cut it and we'll glue it down. Next, we're gonna add the dowels for our spinners. Take your 1 8 inch dowel and mark them in one inch increments. Then cut them with your craft knife. Put just a little bit of glue in each of your 1 8 inch holes and then put your dowel inside and tap it with a hammer. Check your spinners. Oh, nice. Now for this center spot, we're actually gonna add half of an acrylic Christmas ornament. You can pretty much use anything for this. You could even use the bottom of a water bottle. And next, we'll glue on our winning pockets. Make sure that you line up the bottom of the winning pocket ramp to the bottom of your holes. Next, line up your template again, and this time, we're gonna mark our nail holes and our nail curves. Nail those nails in. Make sure that you check your spacing. You don't wanna just mindlessly nail your nails because it could mean that you accidentally created a ball trap. For the nail curves, you basically just follow along the line and nail in your nails right next to each other. These curves act as a guide for your ball to go into the winning pocket. Makers, I hope you enjoyed getting started with the Pachinko. Be sure to watch part two when we'll finish our board by adding a launcher, ramp, ball tray, and lots of cool electronics. And as always, we wanna see what you're making, if it's this project or anything else. Just be sure to post your photos and videos to the Maker Camp community. See you next time.